So, the time has arrived when I finally teach you how to use one of the most fundamental, important and goddamn annoying pen tool in Photoshop. So, let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Drool here with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how we can create selections and shapes using pen tool. So let's get and create a new document. So go to file and create a new document. It doesn't matter height width, simply hit OK. Uh, so we have this new document and as you can see I have selected my pen tool but your will look something like this uh, with selected move tool. So you can go and click here and you can also right click to see more advanced options. So we have selected pen tool, you can also use the keyboard shortcut and just simply press P. Now let's go and simply start hitting the strokes. So as you can see, uh, you can listen to my clicks. So as you can see, at this moment, it simply works like a regular polygon lasso tool, right? But what makes the pen tool special? So let me go and simply delete it, hit the delete one more time and there we go. So this time I will do a click. But on my second click, I will hold it and I will drag it. As you can see, this way you can add any kind of curvature and you can create almost any kind of shape you want to create. So uh, once this is done, let's go and try to close it. So when I go, as you can see, it goes on that random direction, uh, which is not actually random. Uh, let me explain you why. Uh, it is because you can see this uh, straight line uh, these are two handles handle one handle two so this allows us to manipulate your shape once you create it in simple terms we have made this half circle right but what if we want to change the angle a little bit so what you do is you hold down your control key and you can see use this handle to change the size and things in your circle half circle and you can also use the second handle for even more control uh, and you can make it smaller, bigger, however you want. Now what if you wanna simply move your ending point? So same way you hold on your control key and now you can move it further in distance, whatever you wanna do with it. You can put it anywhere, even outside your canvas, that's awesome. Now comes the important part. How do you close these handles so it doesn't go in this another direction just like that? So to close your handle, you have to hold on your Alter key or Option key if you are using Apple product. So hold on your Alt key and you can click on the middle. So as you can see now the handle is closed. Now when I try to close my shape, as you can see it goes just as I want. And now I can again drag it and I can close it however I want. And the same way we created some kind of shape. So that's good. Now what if you wanted to add another extra point? You thought, oh, I want to take it out a little bit. So you right click here and you have this option that is add anchor point tool. When you click on that and when you click on your lines, it will allow you to add extra points even when you close down your shape. So ultimate freedom, just like that. Now, just like the beginning, every point will have its own two handles. So you hold down your control key and now you can manipulate it any how you want. You can take it anywhere. And you can also see whenever you, whenever you click on this thing with your control key, the two handles, they pop up. So that is really handy thing, right? You can uh, change it any way you want in any direction. This is just awesome. Now let's say you did this, but you're like, no man, I don't want this point here. So right click and you have delete anchor point. Just like that, you click here a here and boom the point is gone and it will work according to your closest two points this point and this point it will whenever you remove a point it will the outcome will be according to this point and this point whichever are close so that's done and now you say okay i closed down my shape but it doesn't look like a selection so you have a couple of options you can right click and select uh, where is it make a selection uh, and simply hit okay your selection or you can go and click on this button here. It will only show up if you have selected your pen tool. Go and select, uh, click on that and boom, selection. Or you can also use keyboard shortcut that I use all the time. Hold down your control key and hit enter. So it's like control enter and boom, that is your selection. Now what if you wanted to remove your selection? So you can go to simply select and deselect. 
or you can use keyboard shortcut control D and the selection is gone. And here's the thing right just because you are learning from a short YouTube video doesn't mean you will learn it fast. You will have to do a lot of practice to understand how this tool works but once you get it done it's, it's really simple. Now that's all you need to know about pen tool but how do you create shapes so it's really simple all you have to do is simply go here when you select the pen tool uh, instead of this path go and select shape and make sure you have any color here let's go with the red whatever so now this time when you go and click here and magic <laughs> it will create a shape just like we did so let's hold down your alter key close the handle and let's make a shape so as you can see there it is and it works exactly like the regular pen tool uh, do you want to add things right click select the add anchor point and add how many points you want doesn't matter and then again you can simply just hold down your control key and change it however you want uh, this is just basically a pen tool right but here's the fun part you can right click and select pen tool again so you have all these options and here you can apply strokes see there's a stroke and let's make it slightly bigger so you can see that's good uh, you can also change the color of the stroke however you want that's awesome uh, there's also style of stroke you want this type of stroke you want that type of stroke doesn't matter it's awesome but here's a couple of important things if you are working with shapes when using pen tool let's go and make it normal uh, and let's make the stroke a little bit smaller uh, yeah so that's good uh, let's say you did this but you are like yeah I want to make another shape just like that uh, yeah and you think oh I made a mistake I want to go control Z and then you will go control alter Z right but this time when you click boom it creates a freaking new layer that's pretty annoying if you still don't get the idea let me delete everything uh, here's the thing let's go and create a shape 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 now you're like oh no let's go and control Z and control all Z and then you go to click bam what, what the hell so to make sure this doesn't happen here's what you have to do let's say you are at here and every time you try to create something uh, it creates a new freaking layer which we do not want you hold down your alter key and you can close the handle and then when you again go see it's the normal shape and, and even if your handle is closed you can just simply hold on your alter key and click on the point so it will turn on the shape layer and now this time we can just go and simply create whatever shape we want it's just awesome as that so that is all cool right and let's delete it and here comes the final step that is little bit complicated so let's say I make a shape uh, something like this uh, and another shape something like this good now what if I wanted to cut a hole in this shape so to do that you go here you select subtract from shape so you go and now when I make my shape as you can see and that's good so this time it removed the part of shape and the same way you have other options you can uh, combine exclude uh, there's a lot of things you can do and just like your regular shape uh, you can use your control key and you can manipulate it however you want and this thing will be really important to you so that's it and now you guys know how to use pen tool how to make selection with it how to make shapes with it and how to manipulate shapes with it and i think that's more than enough for a person who is just trying to learn pen tool so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions which you will probably have Feel free to ask me in comment section below. Uh, until then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.